the England squad have had a lovely team picture done. I don't know if you've seen oh, it. Oh, I saw that when they're all dressed <laughs> in black. <laughs> With Ecru t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. It, and, it looks um, like some sort of weird over, school photograph, <laughs> doesn't it? People peeking over each other's shoulders and things like that. Yeah. 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 Here we go with another exciting episode of the future award winning Eat My Gold. <laughs> uh, episode episode 12, I think we're on now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Christ. I'm pretty sure we're on 12. 12 um, weeks, three 12 months of this. Weeks of doing of this. Year. <laughs> quarter of a year of our life that we'll never get yeah. back and no one will ever listen to you yeah <laughs> until we one day it. we could yeah. put it in a time capsule one day and they'll yeah. find it in a hundred years time and they'll go christ what did people do with their lives back then yeah oh, oh people used um, to talk shit in those days as well did they <laughs> <laughs> yeah it will only be worse in 100 yeah. years time uh anyway so this is eat my gold podcast with me mike and dan over Hello. there always do that um this is the podcast, the only podcast where, where you can hear Portsmouth chat along with Premier League chat. This week, we have for you a review of last week's fascinating game at Morecambe, um, at the Morecambe Stadium in Morecambe. This week, we will be pre previewing the Derby game this Friday. I assume that's on Sky, is it? It is. I guess. Yeah, that's a good, good one for Sky. Yep. Um, we'll be previewing that, Portsmouth against Derby, a uh, top-of-the-table League One clash. We will also be talking about our all-time Premier League left-back. We'll have a little quiz. Dan leads 4-2 to two on that. Yes. Uh, I'll be back in it 4-3 this week. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll round off with a little bit of Premier League and a touch of World Cup chat, as it will be the World Cup. By the time we next record, the World Cup will be... In full swing, Exciting. Over in Qatar. Mm. So, uh, I tell you what would be a good thing to start with, then, because yes. people always wait for this. I know they do. I know. I, I imagine they they baited breath. Is it, and went, I, is it the I end already? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and good night. Um, yeah. So, your iconic oh, moment. Portsmouth iconic moment. What have you got for us this week? Okay, so this this is an iconic moment, an iconic moment for me especially. So this might not be anything that you remember or um, have any knowledge of, but I'm going to show you what this is. Now the background is a bit nondescript, so bear with. A bit of preparation. There we go. Da -da. Ooh, okay. Can you see what this says? Oxford That's Portsmouth. It. That's it. Oxford Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Okay. And so, the the iconicness is is this your first ever Pompey game? No, no. Oh, but okay. this is a game. So I was fifteen. This is a game in uh, on the third of November, nineteen ninety two. And I don't okay. know whether you um, recall this game. Would you have happened to know what the final score was in this game? Oxford v Pompey. Uh, it was Oxford. Five Portsmouth five. Ah, uh, oh yeah, no, no. Do you know what that? Yes. Do you have any knowledge of this game, right? Yeah, so on. this Tell me is all about the it. game that I actually um, forced me to pull all my rip my Portsmouth posters off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, I vividly remember doing it, ripping them off the wall I, when I was listening to this game on uh, what would it have been Radio Solent, probably? Oh no, Victory. No, Victory. Radio Solent. I think probably at that yeah, time, wasn't it? it? Okay. And um, so, yeah, in this game, Pompey were 3 0 up after 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, they were 4 1 up and they were 5 2 up. So they were three times, they were three goals ahead. And then they were 5 3 up going into the last minute, <laughs> the last minute of the game. And they conceded two. Um, yeah. And I just remember I had, a, I had a poster. I mean, I was 15, so I was probably a bit old to have a poster on my wall, but I had a poster of Guy Whittingham. And I think I had a poster of the the Pompey team as well. All right. Yeah. And I think yeah. I had a results thing as well. And uh yeah, I just uh, ripped them all down in pure anger. <laughs> in, 
Oh, and, um, and, 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 so, and how things have changed. You managed to control and curb that anger exactly, in later yeah. life, haven't you? You've, you've obviously taken some intense therapy uh, because yeah. you take things much better nowadays, I've noticed. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But this is this is the same team that, so this was November 92, and yeah. in April 92, they were playing Liverpool in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And Pompey's team that day for the, for the Oxford game was Alan Knight, Andy Orford, Ray Daniel, Kit Simmons, Warren Neal, Chris Burns, Stuart Doling, Mark Chamberlain, Paul Walsh, Daryl Powell, Guy Whittingham and Gavin Maguire. So for that time, that was a pretty strong team as well. Yeah, decent. And it was, they did end up, that was the season they ended up playing Leicester in the playoffs and yeah. losing over two legs. But um, yeah, so that was it. It wasn't um, particularly. It might not be iconic for many people, but it was iconic for me. I imagine. I imagine most, apart from me, will remember it very well. Well, yeah. So yeah. But for similar sort of reasons. Yeah. yeah. Similar sort of reasons. Um, and and I think that's that that pretty much sums up being a Pompey fan. That that scoreline, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think that. I, I think up. we can all associate with uh, with that um, mm. at multiple periods through the. Uh, Portsmouth fans' history yeah. of being a Portsmouth fan. Yeah, that, yeah, horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. I like it. That was it, yeah. Yeah, good. So, so, so I thought maybe if you don't know about it, then I'll teach you a little something. So it's educational as well. I love those, um, those, those team pictures. And I'm going to come back to that in a, a later, in, later in the pod when we talk about the England squad. Oh. Um, because the England squad have had a lovely team picture done. I don't know if you've seen oh, it. Oh, I saw that when they're all dressed <laughs> in black. <laughs> With Ecru T-shirts. Yeah, yeah. And, it looks um, like some sort of weird over, school photograph, <laughs> doesn't it? People peeking over each other's shoulders and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit odd, it's, isn't it? Oh, it is very odd, very yeah. odd. Um, okay, well, yes, there's the iconic moment. Um, right, swiftly on from one... Uh, horrendous Portsmouth performance to another. Um, Morecambe away. Oh, one one. I should, I should we predicted this good. last week. We predicted we it last did, week. One one. We? Yeah. 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 I should. Um, I'm, just, I'm thinking now. I should have picked a good iconic moment. So at least we've had one positive thing to talk about this evening. But yeah, yeah this this may have been um, FA Cup final day. My, maybe yeah. we should have kicked I'll, off with that. But I'll yeah. So uh, next week. what's your thoughts on the on the Morecambe? game dan what did you think oh it's just dull isn't it mike <laughs> isn't it? it's just dull i mean um where's what's what's going on what's did you see the interview with cowley afterwards as well uh i've, I've he, seen it. i've seen i've don't know if it's the same one i've seen a bit where he's pretty annoyed about the uh injuries yeah there's um, something strange going on there because he said that a few weeks ago as well and he was very much He's 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 aiming it at someone, presumably the medical staff. Yeah, because yeah. Because he just keeps saying, "Oh, don't ask me. I don't know what's going on." Blah blah blah. And um, people keep getting injured, and I'm the wrong person to be speaking to. So he's clearly got an issue with someone. But what do you reckon that is? Do you reckon they're, they're they're declaring them fit too early, or they're or they're not getting them fit? I don't. I, I, don't, I honestly don't know. It, but it just seems strange that he's sort of doing this cryptic. Mm. telling off you mm. know they must be having a chat behind the scenes surely so and that's i think that's a little bit concerning because if you think of the clubs that he's been at he's not been at any big clubs where they would have had you know fantastic medical teams and no expense mm. spared so you'd think that pompey budget wise would have been up there maybe maybe huddersfield would have been a little bit more uh when he was there but again they're, they're on a bit of a downward slope really so you can't think that they're going to be You'd think that, that surely Pompey are going to have some of the best in class medical staff, wouldn't you? Physios, etc. Well, you think so, yeah. I mean, I think from a League right, One perspective. Is, well, yeah, and I think it is concerning. I think if there's an issue there, there's it's it's got to go deeper, and it unless he is aiming it at Lowry, I don't know. Unless it's not aimed at the medical team, unless he's aiming it at Lowry, saying he's fit, or I don't know. It just seems then, very oh, very strange. Because he then went on to compliment Denise by saying we are. Effectively, he said we're a different team when they're when he's on the pitch. Um, mm. What concerns me is the game was terrible from Portsmouth's mm. point of view. If, if I was a Morecambe fan, I'd be gutted because uh, Morecambe should have and could have and, and definitely should have won it. I think 
Griffiths, who has obviously had his critics over the last few weeks, I thought kept us in the game twice. Right at the yeah. end of the first half, made a great save. Um, and relatively early, I think it was still 1-0 at the time, he made a, he made another good save. Might have been one all by then. But another good save. They also missed a couple of absolute sitters, yeah. um, Morecambe. And you just think, we're all over the place defensively. Yeah. Um, I liked what I did like. So I thought when Hume came on, we looked better. Because What frustrates me about, about Pompey at the moment is, Everyone says how great Dale is, and he, yeah, he's a good player. He's busy, but he's for me, he kind of constantly cuts inside, very predictable. Um, and there's no ball. There's there's never that ball when he gets the opportunity to whip the ball in. He never does. Always wants to beat yeah. one more player. Same as Kor Kor Koroma. Yeah, um, he keeps uh, keeps trying to do too much. Uh, and yeah. when and- when Hume came on, he was whipping him in early. Yeah. And if that your said, target man is is Colby yeah. Bishop, well, and he's yes. you know he's he's the he's the top scorer, he's the one that's getting, you know he's the he's the big man. Stick the balls in the box because that's yeah, where yeah. you're going to get. Yeah. Well, when we started doing that, that was look what happened. We scored. Yeah. But um, mm. what I did realise, well, because I've been thinking, well, why has Hume not been getting a shout? <laughs> he's terrible defensively. Oh, he's, I um, see. I don't know if you saw the situation. There was basically a two on one. It was a breakaway from Morecambe. Two on one. And Hume came across, went back, to, he kind of came across the pitch to the right back position. So it's two on one. And rather than just jockey, what you want to do is you want to obviously wait. Any you, As a kid, you know what you want. You don't want to dive in, do you? You don't want to leave him two on, two on your goalkeeper. He literally just slid straight in, sold himself. And then they, yeah. and luckily the player then overhit the pass to the other player, drove him wide. And I think, um, I think Bishop, uh, sorry, Griffiths then made a save. Um, because the angle had been made quite tight for him. But um, mm. but yeah, quite bad defensively. But maybe, I think maybe he could be a shout for left midfield. I don't know why they don't move him up the pitch a bit. Because yeah, yeah. I think that would be a decent shout. But very so, frustrating, so frustrating. I'd, yeah, I think I, the, the main frustrating thing for me is just the fact that when we played against Plymouth, which is probably our best game yeah. Um, since this ter- uh, before this terrible run yeah um what what's i don't know what's going on i mean it's the same it's the same group of players yes we've had injuries in between then and now but you know packs back uh, again yeah we're missing lowry but you know it's it's pretty much the same same mm. group of players and they just seem to have from that attacking looking really good going forwards from the early from the first five or six games mm. it's just nothing now is it it's just yeah. it's so boring or have other teams worked us out already or you know do they uh, know to just stop pack playing i don't i don't know you know i um, i think there's i think there's a couple of things i think one i i don't think bishop and scarlet work as a pair i think uh that you it's, it, he keeps on trying it it keeps on not working again i think scarlet is trying to uh, whether it's a lack of confidence or whether it's just a over um, com- over, it might even be overconfidence in his own ability. But I think he done he, ne- he needs to release the ball earlier. Yeah. Um, but also, I think the key is Lowry went off, was replaced by Morrell, I think, in that Plymouth game, and we haven't mm. been the same since then. No. What no. Uh, did you see the comments from Morrell? Obviously, he got picked for the Welsh squad, which is great from his perspective. Um, but did you see his comments about? It kind of has been playing on his mind, not wanting to get injured for the World Cup. He, the Pompey, will see a different player when he returns. Um, All right, makes me think oh, okay. he's been pulling his so, punches so, a little bit, doesn't he? So, so what, what are you saying? Is he saying that up to this point, I haven't really been trying as hard as I would be, and and, and you know, getting stuck Sounds in? That way, isn't it? Because all oh, right, okay, that's a. That's quite, it, quite a statement, isn't I'm, it? I'm surprised so, more so people when I come said back, more, more about it. When I come back, I'll be all right. Yeah, when I come back from the World Cup, um, having played twenty minutes for Wales, I'll be um, I'll, yeah. I'll be much better. Fair enough, okay. I understand. It. Yeah, it's it's going to be the pinnacle. Wales haven't been there since what the fifties, um, and let's be honest, you know he's only in the squad because Wales has got a pretty poor squad, with the exception of two or three players. But um, but come on, you're getting paid week in week out, and surely when when as soon as Larry's injured, that's your opportunity, isn't it? To nail down that yeah. spot. Mm. Yes, I'm not. So, I, I don't like that comment. I don't like no, that at all. I, think I didn't like it either. Massive, massively unprofessional. If that's if yes, that's, unless it's been taken out of context, I don't know. But maybe, mm. maybe. Um, but Prick. I think what is 
<laughs> Short ass print. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, what I think is quite concerning, obviously, Morecambe ended a run of games, which I think are all winnable games. So after Charlton away, which I think still think we, we obviously didn't turn up, did we? But we had Forest Green, we won. Oxford, we drew. Shrewsbury at home, we drew. Um, and then we had Morecambe at home. We drew, away, sorry, we drew. Uh, so we got seven, sorry, six points from a possible 12 there since Charlton. Um, it's just not good enough, is it? It's no, just it's not. not and, and, and you see people saying, oh, yeah, well, why are you complaining? You know, we're, we're fifth and we've, we've got two games in hand. Yes, but we've had two games in hand for, for, for the whole of the season, virtually. And it's just, you, what, Plymouth, they're, what, 14 points in front of us now, aren't they? Yeah. Is it 14? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, well, when we had two, two games in hand to start off with, they, they were the games that if we'd won would put us top or second. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's just moving us up a place. One place. It's just we're not winning it. We're not winning those games. We're not winning not winning the games that we should be winning. And you know, some people are going, Oh yeah, we're gonna be in a relegation battle at this at this well, um at this that, rate. That's I'm not, I'm not sure about that. No. So that's that's being a bit silly. Yeah, but, there's, um, there's, yeah. yeah I, I, I'm, I'm not just, one of those to think. Okay, Cowley out. Blah 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 blah. That's that's complete and utter bollocks, isn't it? Quite frankly, um, yeah. yeah, it's a bad run. There's no doubt. There's a bad run of form. Yes, we've had a bad run with injuries. All tended to be in a, a similar sort of position, but um, but it is it is a bad run. There's no two ways about it. And it, the, the, the the only thing that concerns me is it's dull. It's kind of it's just predictable. Yeah. There's no real. There's nothing really changing. Mm. I, I personally, at this stage, would have. I know he likes the four four two, but I just think when you're limited on your centre midfielders, you've got to start changing things around, haven't you? Yeah. Um, maybe change the system. I, I, I'd flip it to a four three three personally, and have Bishop as a lone striker. But yeah, you know. Anywho, let's see what he does on the Telfax game against Derby because. As D. Ream used to say, things can only get better. Although yeah, some Poppy yeah. fans would say relegation battle ahead, so therefore yeah. things could only get worse. But um, and um, we we usually do quite well on Sky, don't we, on Pete? <laughs> so so it's going to be one one to yeah, um, think, enjoy. Be fine. And and Derby are shit, aren't they? Oh no, that's right. They're doing really well at the minute, aren't they? And they're they're up to third, are they? They fourth, are not. It? No, no, no. They are. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. That, were... I'll tell you where we're at. They have their sixth, same points as us. You, um, but, they, sure? but they've played a game more. Yeah, they're six. One well, same points as us. Are you looking at the table right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the table before we went live on it. Oh, I'm um, sure. I thought I saw them being in. Should... No, nah, I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to have to now check it, aren't I? Um, Come on. Come on. Um, yeah, here we go. Here we go. So we got Plymouth top, Ipswich Wednesday, Peterborough, Portsmouth, Derby. All right. Okay. So, well, so Portsmouth off, but yeah, played Derby 16, off. 28 points. Derby played 17, 28 points. However, here's the thing. Uh, recent form, six games, last six games, Portsmouth won one, drawn four, lost one. Goals four, five in six games. Against seven, Derby, same six games, one three, drawn two, lost one. So they've gained in those six games. They've gained four points on us, which is a bit of a concern. Mm. Um, Have they still got um, Paolo one shop? Is he still? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still. Uh, he's still looking clumsy yeah. as a kind of clumsy but class. makeshift. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, clumsy but but absolute class and. Um, who was the Georgian fella that they had? King Cladzi. Was it Georgie? King, was it King Cladzi? He played for City as well, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think he's still playing as well. Oh, yeah, good. All right. Oh, so Peter Shilling yeah. goal. Yeah. Any and, other derby um, as you can think of? Yeah, Brian Clough's the manager still. Yeah. <laughs> With um, Peter Taylor. Uh, yeah, that's um, yeah. and and Robbie Savage obviously in midfield. Well, let's yeah, let's. <laughs> Let's hope that this is the turning point that we've been saying <laughs> has been the, is going to be the turning point for the last four or five weeks. This is going to be the turning point this Friday. We're going to annihilate Derby 4 0. Nice, comfortable win. Really good, exciting 4 0 win with Pack spraying the balls round. Lowry back to full fitness. Um, Bishop getting a couple. Scarlett getting his confidence back up, getting a goal. And um, Griffiths saving a penalty. 
Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right. <laughs> there you go. It's starting to sound a little bit like the um the, 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 the three lines. Uh, yeah. three oh. lines there. I was, I was gonna say moon and star on his shirt. <laughs> Uh, but it didn't work, so I didn't. I shouldn't have done that. Should I? Should have left it where it was. Yeah. Um, but right. um, but yeah. No, uh, well, and it's live um, on Sky. I don't know. I, I, I hate to say it, but I just think it's going to be another ball draw, isn't it? That's all I expect now is a draw. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, let's let's just let's just forget everything I've just said. Right. <laughs> Forget all that and let's just go for an exciting performance. How about that? Yes. That's all they've yeah. got to do. Just, yeah. just be exciting. Would just you take forward. would you take a good performance and a narrow defeat over a really dull performance and a 3-0 win? No. Oh no, no, no. Or a 1-0 win. Let's say a dull performance and a 1-0 win. No, because it's a win. But um <laughs> yeah. good, it good would answer. Be nice just to uh yeah, I mean if you're playing Derby, then you 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 you'd be happy with the three points. But um, yeah, no, you'd still want to win, but just let's just let's just be a bit exciting, shall we? This week, yeah. let's just look good for the cameras, do it for all your family watching. Come on, guys, out you go, do it. Joe Morales fucked off to Qatar, so you don't have to worry about him half hearting um, it, half hearting it in the challenges with his, with his sideways and backwards passing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so let's um, just see. Do you know when uh, we last played Derby? Uh, was it when we were in the Premier League? Oh no, it's a bit more recent. It was in the League Cup 2015. Oh. Um, I think we would have been League Two then, wouldn't we? I think. Uh anyway, we beat them 2 1. Beat them 2 1 down at the park. So we'll take I, that. I remember playing them on the first game of the season in the Premier League when it was there. And it was the uh when Derby were the shittest team to ever have played in the Premier League. Oh yeah. And we and we drew points. two all. Oh yeah, yes. We, we gave that. them a point, we gave them one of their points, didn't we? On the first yes, game of the season. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, but I also, and I, I think we've mentioned this before, but uh, some of my fondest memories, certainly of the Yak, was at a derby game when, um, ah, yes. when six we won 6 2. 6 2. Now, that, yeah, let's have a bit of that, please. Let's have a bit yeah. of that. that I, I, I would that say that is I'm up sure there. that was his first game as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that was yeah. Yakubi's first game. That is definitely up there with one of the best games I've enjoyed down at Fratton Park. For sure. Good times. Good times. Good fun times. Yeah. Mm. Good times. Um, right. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict a draw. You want to go for a narrow win, yeah? I'm going to go for... No, I'm, no, no. I'm going to go for a... Um, oh, do you know what? I don't... I just don't care. I don't care <laughs> what happens. Just, just, just be excited. I'm just going to go for an exciting performance. That's all yeah. I want. All right. All right. Good. Right, so speaking of exciting, have you got some suggestions for our all-time Premier League left-back? Non-British, non-Irish, Premier League left-back. Non-British, non-Irish? Yeah, non-British, non-Irish. I thought you said before non-British, but we were including Irish. Oh, no, you can't have Dennis Irwin. Okay, so I was going to say, before we we go through all the formalities and just pick Dennis Irwin, (laughs) I'll cross him out then, yeah? Yeah, so, see, I, I knew okay, you put him in, and then I remembered. Oh no, no Irish either. No okay, Irish. I'm sure. Either. I'm sure if you what if you look back, you did say Irish. But, but anyway, no, 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 no. Um, we'll no. cross I'm, Dennis Irwin. I'm so, so before we go through for, through the four formalities and pick Patrice Ever, um, we'll carry on <laughs> and do the other two that I picked. Then go on. Um, so I've gone for Patrice <laughs> Patrice Ever. Yeah. And well, it was Dennis Irwin, and then as a as a just. To make up the numbers, I put um, Yon Arnarisa. Oh, as, as I put Yon y- 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 Arnarisa as yeah. well. Not John, um, not John, Yon. No, until you yeah. see his stats, then you realise actually his stats aren't all that. Are they? Well, actually, they're okay. They're okay. No, but he was a, you know, just a average, in fact, do you know, I take that. Good yeah, team. I'm going to take that back because I think because stats sometimes can read wrong, kind of. But if you think about yeah. some of the goals he scored. His, yeah. his left foot was an absolute weapon, wasn't it? Yep. It was an absolute yeah. uh, rocket. It was like, like the four hunder. The four hunder? No, thunder. Four thunder. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I haven't even been drinking this week either. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll rule out research. So, cliche. Right, okay, so that leaves so that leaves Evera. 
Let's go. With... That oh, means did, Evra. Did, did you say cliche? You didn't say cliche. No, I was... no, I said cliche no. as a joke last week. Oh yes, was... you did. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you know what cliche I put in there because surprisingly he does have three titles. Uh, well, not surprisingly because he played for Man City, didn't he? Um, oh, of course. Yeah, I was thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, probably one of the weak links in that Man City team, I'd say, wouldn't he? Yeah. Back in the early well, two t- 2010s. But yeah, it's so got to be Evra, isn't it? It's got to be Evra. Did, did you see have you, Evra's stats? Is um, five titles yeah. in nine seasons. Yeah. Um, 278 appearances, 187 wins out of that. So that's uh, off the top of my head, 67.2% win rate. <laughs> Quick maths. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's. Um, I mean, he's a player that I never really thought. Oh yeah, I'd love to have him in my team. But then again, when we did the right backs, it's uh, slim pickings. When you yeah, look at foreign, isn't it? it is yeah, foreign left and right backs. You know, a lot of the uh, left backs that they sort of say is are the best one. Uh, you know, the best in the Premier League were people like Ashley Cole. Um, yeah, do you think he's the best all-time left back uh, in in the Premier League? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. he's class, and I think you as you dislikable get... as he is. Yeah, he yeah. was quality, wasn't he? Yeah, and I think when you see people like I think Ronaldo said he was one of his toughest opponents. Didn't yeah, he? yeah. The Portuguese Ronaldo. Yes. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. So I think right. it's got to be Evra, isn't it? Oh, that was quick. Good. That was quick. Yeah. Evra, pop him in. Yep. Um, so who we yeah. got then. Who have I got? I'd say that. Who have we got? Ever, Sh- Ever Sh- Michael Clichy. Everett. Oh, yeah. And uh, Zabaleta, wasn't it, last week? Oh, yeah, and Zabaleta, yeah. yeah. Zabaleta. So very, very, uh, very mank, this team, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, I think it's, it's likely to be, though, isn't it? But then until, yes. I think I think the Arsenals and stuff are going to start coming into their own when we start talking midfielders, aren't they? Maybe even centre-backs. Maybe. Oh, no, yeah. most of Arsenal centre-backs were British, though, weren't they? Yeah. Or Irish. Yeah. So anyway, we'll find out because next week we'll talk centre backs. We're gonna have to bring along four centre backs because we want to narrow them down to two. Okay. All right. Four yep. centre backs, four non-British or Irish centre backs. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good job. Here we go. So um, quiz time. It's a quiz time. It's a quiz time. Uh, <clears throat> who, who's going first this week? I've got some beauties for you. Um, Mine are themed again, by the way. I read to you first last time, so it's me to you. Right. It's you to me. Okay. Well, mine are themed, as I've just mentioned, and the theme once again is our very own Portsmouth Football Club. Oh. So this is a little test for you, Dan. Yep. How much do you know about Portsmouth Football Club? Five questions. You have five seconds to answer each. First one is I'd say is probably the toughest. So Premier don't League, worry. Premier League based or just oh, in no, general? The history oh. of. History of asshole man, that's an yes. asshole. You're gonna stitch me right up. No, 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 no. And I'm gonna know fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um the first one I think is gonna be either you're gonna know it or you're not, and you may be able to guess it. But here we go. You're gonna have five seconds on each one once I have read the question. So the first floodlit football match, football league match, sorry, took place at Fratton Park. Knew it was In- coming. In what year? Oh, Arsenal, really? <laughs> Not Portsmouth nil, Newcastle nil. Four, uh, three, two, forty-nine. Oh, seven years out, nineteen fifty-six. Oh, that's asshole. I knew all the rest. Where well, is asshole? Because the good news is you've already got question two right. Because oh, okay. who did they play on that night? Oh. And you've already Yay. said Newcastle United. So that's one point for two. Okay. Who scored Portsmouth's last Premier League goal to date? Five. Three. One. I'm gonna have to hurry. Um, I'm gonna have to hurry uh, more than that. Yeah, right? no, yeah, okay, okay, sorry. Uh I'll say um um no, I don't know. John John Utaka. Oh, you you will kick yourself. John Yukutaka scored the second to last Premier League goal in a 3-1 win against Wolves. The third goal was scored by Michael Brown. Oh, of course. I was going to fucking say Michael Brown. <laughs> but I thought, no, because he, he would have only scored... Oh, I didn't... Yeah. 
Say, John say Utakas for the there. second say to it. last. Say it. Because um, the final game was a nil nil, or did we lose? I can't remember now. Anyway, uh, okay, there you go. So one out of three so far. Man, this you can get. I think it sounds yeah. difficult, but you either know or you don't. Fram Park yes. hosted its only full England international in 1903. Who did England play? Um. Wales. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was one of those that you might be able to guess. Yeah. Two out of four. Final one. And this, well, here we go. Who replaced Harry Redknapp as manager in oh. 2004? Um, was one of it... these that you know, but you don't know. Is that, uh, 2004. I'm trying to think of what his name um, is. It um, 2000. Uh, Joe Jordan? No, it was Velimir Zajek. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing him in a, in, a, in Tesco Port Solent petrol station. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. before, uh, or just afterwards, in fact, just because he initially became director of football, didn't he? Which is what uh, put mm. Red Knapp's nose out of joint in it. Um, so, yes, he, uh, he took over for a few months before getting the boot because he was. <sighs> yeah. Terrible. Um, all right, there you go. Two, well, I'm disappointed. Two, two, was it I'm two? disappointed with my show in there. Yeah. Two, yeah, two out of five. Two, there, yeah. two out of five. Right. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. Back right. In come game. on. You can do this. Yep. So I've gone for how much do you know about Portsmouth's first season in the <laughs> Premier League, Mike? <laughs> oh, come on. You'll going. be fine. On. You'll be fine. Okay. They start off gentle. Yeah. Right. All here right. we go. Come on then. Come on. You're gonna, I want you to get at least three here. If you don't, Okay. Kill the podcast. Okay. You know, fuck all. Right. <laughs> Ready. Here we go. Yeah. Go on. Who scored Portsmouth's first Premier League goal? Oh, well, I remember the game and I remember who scored for the visitors. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, well, do you know what? I'm going to go with because I remember Gareth Barry scored for Villa. Right. Okay. Here we go. Sent off. Uh, Sheringham. Is correct. And, who's and got I think the other Berger one? got the other one in that game. That's didn't right. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Very good. If you could be a bit quicker on the. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. I was going. I was, I was doing a bit of a BBC Saturday night where I was talking through my answer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's be. it. Yeah. Make sure you talk through your answer because it makes better viewing. Yeah. Right. Here we go. <laughs> and we give away less money. Yeah. <laughs> Question two. Well, in their first season in the Premier League, what was Pompey's final position in the table? Oh. I think I know this as well. <laughs> oh, I think I do. I think I do, because we were, we were in trouble at one stage. Then we had a great little run at the end. And I think we finished 13th. It's correct. Wow. <laughs> two out of two, Mike. Oh, right. Here we go. Level. This is it. This is right, for the weekly is win. This is where it all Three goes chances. Wrong. Three right. chances. Three chances. Come on. Oh, you should get one. Come on. Right. Question three. Pompey were undefeated for their first five Premier League games, oh. beating Aston Villa and Bolton at home and yes. drawing away to Manchester City, Wolves and Arsenal. But who beat them 2-1 at Fratton Park in their sixth game? Oh. No, it's not them. 2-1, uh, 2-1, Arsenal. Five, four. No, um, I'd, if, you'd, if you'd listened, I just told you that they drew away to Arsenal in one oh. of the first. Oh, five yes, games. that was, that was, yes, of um, course, that was the um, Pires the died, cheating. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was actually Blackburn Rovers. Uh, oh, yeah. I went to that game as well. Yeah, that was that was Finney's first game at Fran Park. Um, yeah. Roque Santa Cruz. Um, it was actually Lucas Neal. No, I'm and, telling a lie. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was a little Cole bit later. The game that I'm thinking of. Goals yeah. Ball okay. Blackburn. Right. Here we go. Two more chances. Question, here we go. Question four. Two more chances. Portsmouth drew nil nil, both home and away, against the team who finished bottom of the league that season. Who are they? Five, four. Three. Gonna have to Barnsley. Hurry. The answer 
is wolves. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've blown it. Come right, on, this one is more. it. Come on, this one is more. this is the this is the semi easy question. This is the other one that okay. I thought you might get. Right here we go. Okay. Okay. Pompey famously beat Manchester United and Scum at Fratton Park both one nil that season. Oh. Yakubu scored the winner against Southampton. Yes. But who got the winner against oh, Manchester my United? God. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, you can do this. This is for the win. Oh, see, um, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm lost. Oh, I'm going to have to say it's not, but I'm going to say, oh, Steve Stone. Correct. Is it? Uh, yeah, Steve Stone in the 30s. Sixth minute, I think, or 39th minute, or something. Nearly, I was so close to saying Todorov, and then suddenly, oh. for some reason, Stone came into my mind. Like a there you go, that was a good little quiz through that. the window. Yes, you got your three, you got your three, three that you need to win. Check us out, we know everything. Look at this. This yeah. is why people listen to this podcast because exactly the, they come for uh, they come for the entertainment and they stay yeah. for the knowledge, the knowledge, yeah. The and, knowledge, the um, insights, and um, just the all-round, clearly die-hard Portsmouthery. Yeah. Yes, that's what they call well it. Done. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. Four to three. It would have. It would have been a big ask if you'd have taken a three-point lead. I think I'd have been a bit worried. I'd It'd probably been, been a bit dejected. Yeah. I probably would have played like um, uh, like uh, Joe Morrell for the rest of the season, half-heartedly, just yes. because just to get through the season to, unscathed. Yeah, more yeah not really putting your effort, not really putting the effort. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. no. Well, good quiz. Four, three. Excellent. OK, Great right. Stuff. Let's move on to Premier League. There's only one thing we can talk about in the Premier League, because I don't think anything else matters, apparently, in the Premier League. Mm. They've taken their break. Arsenal are top. We keep saying they're not going to win the league, Ooh, um, but they are they're top good, they? by five points. They are looking very yeah. good. City at home to um, Brentford. Um, but we're not going to talk about any of that. Because that's now shelved for a month. What we are going to talk about is what do you take on this Cristiano Ronaldo fella? Mm. What do you well, think? I think he's an arsehole. <laughs> yeah, I've never the, well, I mean, defense. well I, I've never liked him anyway. I've never liked yes, he's an amazing player, etc. etc. But I've always hated his attitude. Always, always hated it. Always hate the way he sits on the ground, throwing his hands up in the air, making it all about him, blah, 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 blah. That's why Messi's the goat. Anyway, um, I just think he's just, I just don't think, I just don't know how you can have that sort of attitude. Yeah, everyone knows that um, the problems behind the scenes at Man United with the Glazers, etc. But yeah, that wasn't actually think... any sort of revelation what he was, he was no, saying there, was it? Exactly, exactly. I think that and was purely to... get fans on side, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then just to um, to call out your manager like that, I just think it just shows what sort of self-centred individual he is. Do you, so um, there you go. have you seen, do you watch Talk Sport at all? Or listen to Talk no. Sport, rather? No. No? Well... So Graham Souness' take on this. Graham Souness now does, I think it's a Monday night. Eat my goal I listen to for all my football football knowledge. (laughs) You listen to yourself. Yeah. (laughs) Because I know you don't listen to me. Um, But Graham Souness, Graham Souness does Monday morning on uh, on TalkSport, and obviously it was announced kind of Sunday night. Um, Graham Souness' take is this one, and and this is what I don't get. So Graham Souness says that Manchester United clearly made him, Ten Hag clearly made him some promises over the summer. Right. And is, is, is going against them. So Ronaldo has every right to be annoyed, has every right to do all the things he's doing. Um, and every time I watch it, I think, well, hang on a minute. Ronaldo made it clear that he wanted to leave. Sunas argues by saying, well, he never actually said he wanted to leave. I think it, you know, his, his agent was in Barcelona, was in Madrid, was in mm-hmm. Munich, was in pretty much every single place that he could be, and making it quite yeah. clear the reason why he was there to, was to talk about Ronaldo. Mm. So T- tell me, tell me you want to leave without telling me you want to leave. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I appreciate. Now let's let's caveat this. Clearly, he had personal issues, and the, you know that you wouldn't wish yeah, that yeah. on anybody whatsoever. Okay. However. He comes back late for training. So that's fair enough. You know, if that was for personal re- issues, that's fine. But you can't then expect to go straight into the team if you don't do a pre-season. So that's two. Yeah. So he's then kind of 
does go into the team for the, for the Brentford game. They get smashed. But every game I've seen him play for United, they've looked poor. Whereas every yeah. game I've seen him not play, they've yeah. looked okay. Not brilliant, yeah. but they've looked okay. Everything he's doing is just it's just weird, isn't it? It's kind of it's yeah. like a child. It's like a 17-year-old wonder well, kid yeah. rather than a 37-year-old potential greatest of all time. Exactly. Regardless of who you are, no one player is bigger than the team, yet that's the attitude that he's got, isn't it? And yeah. I, I would take anything sooner says with a pinch of salt because... Well, yeah, because Liverpool have been linked with Ronaldo now, haven't they? Have you heard no, mate. Yeah, mate. yeah so, so it wouldn't surprise me if Sooners with his Liverpool blinkers and uh, Liverpool hat on and scarf and ooh, Liverpool nurse is probably <laughs> doing it to, to try and get him in the back door of <laughs> Liverpool, isn't it? Saying all these things. But... Um, um, yeah, yeah, well, I, but he, here's, another, here's, another, here's another strange thing that Suna said was, um, he said, in five years' time, everyone will still be talking about Ronaldo. Nobody will be talking about Ten Hag. And it's like, that's irrelevant, isn't it? Even if that's true, yeah. it's yeah. just irrelevant. You know, can yeah, a manager not do their job? And, in, in, you know, what, what everyone's been saying about Manchester United the last six, seven, eight years is that there's been no, di- or not six, seven, eight years, because I suppose maybe Mourinho was over-disciplined, but... But there's been no discipline, no style, no no kind of person changing the culture. And now somebody comes in trying to change the culture. They're now saying, well, who are they to say what Ronaldo can and can't do? Well, they're the person who's dictating the culture, surely. Yeah. Um, and if they want to dictate the culture, you can't accept that one player, no matter what they've done previously, mm-hmm. does exactly what they want. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, th- I think it's strange. I've, I've been reading quite a lot about it. And apparently even the um, Portuguese press aren't too keen on Ronaldo being in the in the Portuguese side at the moment. Really? They're, they're saying it should be Portugal, not Ronaldo, um, yeah. 11. So uh, he's even got his own press on his back. So it's not, a, I, I don't know, it's certainly not saying that it's exclusive to Man United, but it's just very bizarre. He's he's basically engineered his way out, isn't he? Because they, they'll, they'll end his contract and he's basically just saying, look, I'm leaving in January and it, if it wasn't going to happen, it definitely is now. Yeah, yeah. So Big never mind. No. Never mind. Um, what I find quite strange though is as a replacement, I don't know how true this is, but it could just be paper talk. But do you know who one of the people lined up to replace him is? To replace Ronaldo. To replace Ronaldo at Man United, yeah. Yeah. Is it um uh, Armand Traore? Well, if I was to say he's ex Stoke, then he went to PSG oh, John and then went to and then went to uh, oh, no. then went to Bayern Munich, Chipo Moting. Oh, oh yeah, no, I did see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, okay. not your answer, I don't think, is it? Not no. your answer. No. Um, what about Zaha? Surely his name's been put in the put in well, the Louis. ring, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Louis Zaha. <laughs> not Wilfred Zaha, but Louis. Yeah, it's Louis yeah. Zaha. Yeah, um, Lady, Lady Zaha. No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> well, it doesn't work, okay. but it's, it's quite it's good. Pass, no, no, I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Ladies Arms. Oh, um, yeah, you could just uh, cut that, that'd be good. <laughs> Snip it out. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. Do you think so? I don't know. He's, he's had his go at Man United, doesn't he? It didn't really work for him. Yeah. I, I think he's um, one of those players who suits a, suits a smaller club, personally. So a big yeah. fish in a smaller club. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, um, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. I, I think. I, I, do, I, do you need I think... a replacement for now, Dan? Do you need? Well, do you need a replacement? He's, then, he's not really set, set the world alight since he's come back, has he? So um... I, I would say Ivan Tony. Yeah. I think he he could be a good uh, good good fit. He's he's taken a step up each time pretty well, hasn't he? So uh, who knows? Seems to be quite confident. Uh, yeah. Well. Do you know what? That segues me nicely into the England World Cup squad. Let's finish on the England World Cup squad. It was announced this week, the 26 players going to Qatar. Um, we won't talk about the Qatar situation, but let's do talk about the squad. What was your thoughts, Dan? You know, pretty much as you expected, or were there any surprises? Only surprise was that Tony was left out. Um, other than that, it's your standard, it's your standard squad, isn't it? Um mm. I, d- I don't know. I think you never know with this squad, do you? You never know that they might they, they might come out and they might do us proud and do like they've done in the last two tournaments. And you might get all excited again, go, actually, oh, we're really good. And But then 
they might come out and draw nil nil with Iran. With Iran, and, yes. Yeah. And draw nil nil with Wales or lose to oh. Wales, oh. draw with USA. But we don't oh. know. I mean, we've got the players that can do it. It's just whether our defence can hold out. Um, um, I would rather have, I mean, if we're doing the team, I'd rather have Ramsdale in than Pickford. I think yeah. Pickford's a great shot stopper, but I think he's crazy, to say the least. Um, okay. And then um, the defence scares the shit out of me. Yeah. And then it's just who would you choose as your midfielders? Um and I mean, Kane's going to be up top, isn't he? Although yeah. they, he came off injured the other day, didn't he? And they were saying it didn't look look great. But um, nah, um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But they were saying fine. he looked tired, and I thought, oh, well, that's good. That's a good sign to go into the uh, the cool. Well, I don't get cool that because climbs of Qatar. But, yeah, but but part of, well, that's one of the reasons why I don't think we will go to the latter latter stages, mainly because of the mm. the heat, and and I think it suits the South American teams really. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe the likes of the hotter European countries like Spain or someone like that. I don't know, but um, but I don't think the the the, the Germans because you know they never go to hot places, um, or the no. English will go to the latter stages, but. Um, my only concern is that we are weak defensively. There's no two ways about it. We haven't got a world-class yeah. goalkeeper. We haven't got any world-class defenders, in my opinion. Um, you know, when Kieran Trippier is probably your best defender, that yeah. kind of says something. And he, he has had a good season, but, um, you know, he's not world-class. Uh, whereas I do think we do have a lot of quality in midfield. We have a lot of quality in the attacking third. But my issue is... That Southgate went, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a Southgate basher. I think he's done great things over the last few years, but he's not, he's a pragmatic manager. He's not a Keegan esque, let's, you know, if they score five, let's score six sort of thing. And I think if we went with that approach, we might do all right. Um, fair enough, we'll come unstuck against the better teams because we will probably yeah. lose six five, but it'll be exciting. I think people would love it. People would get behind the team and we would go down all guns blazing. Whereas what I see will happen is we'll be pragmatic, we'll sit back, we'll pass it amongst the back four or five and yeah. the yeah. two cent- defensive centre midfielders. Jude Bellingham won't get enough game time, I don't think, unfortunately. Oh, you'll have um, Phillips and Rice. You'll have Rice in there and then maybe Phillips if he's... Um, yeah, or Henderson. Uh, or... <laughs> <laughs> oh. And uh, I kind of forgot Henderson was going, but yeah, yeah, it'll be one of those two. And then we'll end up going out to someone on a whimper like one nil or two one we'll maybe take the lead in a in a quarter final or something and then go out two one because we just didn't take the game to them like we should have done against Italy and we would have won the game had we played to our strengths. You know they're two first their, their centre backs were 70 what 74 between them and yeah. uh we've got some fast talent up front and we didn't attack we didn't exploit that. Anyway so yeah I think it'd be all right. Um hopefully that team picture isn't anything to go by because that was dreadful um yeah it reminded um, me of um liverpool 96 when they bought the um white kit the white suit, white yeah. suit, suit the white sorry. suit um who would you who would you play in the hole who would you play behind kane well it's not going to happen but i would play madison yeah yeah i think I he's know, the I best think he's got a good player chance. in I that he's role got a good chance now yeah, I think I, like, I think Southgate will will look at the stats and he'll go, oh, he scored more goals than, and he's assisted more than. Well, hopefully he won't. He won't but yeah, my, my but, front yeah, four no, would I be. I don't think a good chance. My front four would be Saka on the right, Foden yep. on the left, yep, Madison in the middle, Kane up top, and yep. I think if you played that, there's a it's young and it's got a couple of tournaments in it at least, if not three, maybe not Kane, but two or three tournaments in it. Um, but. Uh, just there's just so much pace in there. You've got the guile of Foden. Madison can unpick locks. I just feel he's gonna go with Mount. Yeah. Um probably yeah. Sterling. Maybe Pro- Grealish. Probably Saka. Maybe Grealish, yeah. yeah. But I think Grealish is better coming off the bench for England. Yep. I do. Um I'd like to see Bellingham in there as well. I'd yeah. like to see Bellingham alongside it's quality. Rice. Yeah. Absolute quality. I think Rice Rice and Bellingham, you've got you've got one that will sit and one that can sit and go forward as well. I'd like to see both of those two in there. And I think if you played that front, those those six players we just talked there, so Bellingham, Rice, uh, Saka, Madison, uh, Foden, and then Kane. Kane's 29. The rest of them are like early 20s. I think the oldest one is Madison, who's 25. 
And if you if you even if you played that and played you know played well but went out fighting. What you've got is you've then got that midfield as an experienced midfield, a little bit like Germany did when they when they were terrible back in you know they 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 kind of started playing loads of young players back at twenty years years or so ago. And then was it two thousand and six they won the World Cup when they kind of came back to the forefront because those young players have been playing together for so long in tournaments. Yeah. Now they knew each other inside out, a little bit like obviously the you know those sort of players would have played together in the under 19s under twenty ones as well, which yeah. were quite successful mm. recently under seventeens as well. Yeah. But we won't because we'll go with slow and steady wins the race. Well, that's it. Yeah, I mean, let's let's hope sim- similar to Pompey. Let's let's just hope that they can. Um, let's just hope they can be, be a bit exciting. Just just use your use our attacking players, yeah. our exciting players, and let's like you say, just go out there and take take the game to teams like Iran, and let's just let's just batter them, shall we? Can we do that? And Wales, Wales are no good. Yeah. See, I would have liked Wales, Wales to be off opening game because then we would have been up for it. It would have been a bit of a game. Yeah. Whereas Iran, I don't know. I think it's difficult to raise your game. I know it's not a World Cup, but we typically start slowly, don't we? We we think, oh yeah, yeah. we got the World Cup, and then it's like, oh, we play Morocco and draw nil nil. Yeah. Costa Rica. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Or something like that. And it's like, oh, here we go. And it'd just be one of those hot games where they're just passing the ball around the yeah. back four, and all you can hear is. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> hot hot game <laughs> nothing's happening and that's the final whistle here in Qatar Stadium it's nil nil England nil Iran nil yeah. every time the ball goes out of play it'll be radio solent uh, nil nil <laughs> yeah yeah the ball's going to have a play nil nil um, yeah anyway yeah, yes. so yeah, come on come on let's just have a bit of excitement let's, let's just go on Gareth excited. go on so, Gareth yeah. let's on, smash Gareth. it break, break uh, the mold. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Where do you think? It was, so on, give us a give us a score prediction for uh, for uh, next Monday. It is next Monday they're playing. Well, I'll go for I'll go for my what I would like to have from prediction. Yes, yeah, go on. All right. So let's let's say let's say four nil against Iran. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with that? Yeah. No, no, it's good. Why is that, why is that you, music? You, no, that that, that should, is yeah. what should happen. But it's like I'm just thinking of the opening day. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'd take a four nil. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's All put right. down a statement. Think- I'm not, I'm not taking the mic. No, I'm not. I'm not laughing at you. I'm, <laughs> Otherwise, I'm... I won't tell you any more predictions, mate. If that's what, if that's the reaction I'm going to get. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, USA. Uh, a, a draw. A draw. Oh, yeah. I don't know, Mike. Because then, and then it's going to be. Oh, we have to beat Wales. We yeah, have yeah. to beat Wales to go yeah. through. And then it'll be. Oh, and Bale has come back. And he's done nothing for five years, but now he's back and he scored a hat trick against England, and he's the greatest player again. So you're going for Jamarell. smashing uh, Iran? No, we're draw. going to beat Iran. We're going to draw USA. Might draw, nick. We'll draw we might, with we Wales. Might I think we'll win draw against with Wales. USA, and then yeah, we might we might nick a win against USA. But yeah, we should we should be winning all three comfortably, shouldn't we? Really? Yeah, yeah. But then Portsmouth should be beating Oxford, Shrewsbury. Morecambe, Fleetwood mm. in their own backyard. Anyway, yeah. so that does conclude. Let's hope. Uh, you know, I, I, I wasn't laughing at you, but I, I would go. I, I'd love a four nil. That'd be great. But um, I just don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so pessimistic. We'll you see. Going for them. I'm going to go for one. <laughs> <laughs> no God, what? What'd you say? Two nil. <laughs> one nil. One nil. Oh, come on, against Iran. <laughs> yeah, I know, but a cane, a cane penalty as well. A I've, dodgy I've, sat, penalty. I've sat through far too many World Cups. What's the first World Cup you remember? Remember watching? Uh, oh, eighty six. Yeah, eighty six. Yeah. Definitely. I remember eighty six. Clear. I do. I do vaguely remember watching some parts of the eighty two. Um, yeah. I remember the um, the Spain game, which was dull. Yeah. But, um, and I remember the Robson early goal against France. I remember that quite well. Yeah. But. Um, I, I remember 86. Yeah, I remember 86 we, clearly, so, yeah, quite clearly. Yeah. yeah. Nil nil against Portugal. Then uh, uh, no, uh, sorry, nil nil against Morocco, wasn't it? And then losing one nil to Portugal. Yeah. And then the, the last game we had Robson, to win. Robson That's doing right. That. Yeah. And then the last game we had to win in the league and in suddenly, stages in Poland. Lineker with his bandage yep. up arm. Mm. Quality. Absolute quality. Oh, actually, um, sorry, very quickly. I just saw yeah. um I saw the other day Lineker talking about the Maradona goal, the um the, yeah. the, the good goal, not the cheaty goal. Yeah. And um he said, Oh, I don't know, people don't realise, but there's a there's a horrendous foul on Glenn Hoddle just before 
Maradona picks the ball up, right? And he said, and whenever you show it to people, they go, oh my God, that's horrendous. How was that never given? And I watched it. And it's a horrible foul <laughs> on Glenn oh, really? So his is goal it... should never have stood. The oh, so they cheated the, twice. Uh, they cheated twice. They cheated twice, twice yeah. Cheated, yeah. cheated throughout watch, the whole game. Yeah, have a look at the goal. And, and just before, uh, I think it's just before another player picks it up before it goes to Maradona. I can't remember. But, but yeah, Hoddle just gets completely swiped out. And the referee stood right in front of it and just sort of goes, get up. Yeah. Ah, so. I don't remember that. But um, yes, it is interesting. I'm going to watch that almost immediately at the end of this. Um, so that wraps up this week's e- my goal is another long one Dan wasn't it it's not a long one was it yeah I think we lost most people around about three minutes but if we had anyone to lose in the first yeah. place uh, but it's if you do want to get in contact with us it is twitter at eat my goal 22 eat my goal 22 at gmail.com and on facebook at eat my goal uh, we'll be back next week. Although there is no Premier League to talk about, we will have a little World Cup section. We'll see how England are doing. Hopefully they would have smashed around by then. I think they would probably would be just about to meet the USA when we next meet, when we next record. Um, four to the zero for the England. Right. That's it from us. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.